welcome. First Corinthians fifteen thirty three is a good be not deceived, good bad company spoil good character. What I'm saying to you today: Should Christian be friends of a sinner? Should Christian be friends of a sinner? And the reason why I'm saying this is because Jesus Christ was friends with the the publicans. He was friends with the prostitute, but Jesus Christ commissioned them for the kingdom. If you're going to be a friend of the sinner man, you can marry them yet until they get converted. If you're going to be friends with a sinner man, you are teaching and telling them about the kingdom of God. You associate with them because be not deceived, bad company give you bad morals, bad company. And the Bible say, James chapter four, verse four, he say he adulterer and adulterous, knowing that the friendship of this world is enmity between God. He that our friend of the world is enemy. And what, what James was speaking about is you invite your friend to go to church they say no. But when you invite them, when they invite you to go to the club, you say yes. How can this be a friend when they, they invite you to smoke, they invite you to sex, they invite you to do bad things against your morals and your prince and your principles? What I'm saying should Christian be friends with the sinner? That's my question. You can talk to them. You can you can you can even associate with them. You can talk to them. Like look look at Jesus Christ's record. Jesus Christ talked to he, he told glory to God uh the short uh Zacchaeus he climbed up on a sycamore tree and he said, Zacchaeus, I must come to your house. And he went to Zacchaeus' house and Zacchaeus confessed. And also when glory to God, when Jesus Christ was in the, the house of Simon and a prostitute came and washed. Jesus Christ's feet and Simon rebuke Jesus and Simon and Jesus Christ Simon I came to your house he didn't give me nothing to drink but this prostitute cries and she wiped her, her, her hair her, her hair with my feet my, her hair she wiped my feet with her tears call fall from her eyes what I'm making this video in in reference to if you are a saint of God, you don't associate with sinners. I mean that you don't go clubbing with them. You don't even sex with them. If they can't come to church with you, don't go to club with them. Should Christian be associating with sinners? I'm talking about you dating a person that is a sinner cold-blooded sinner they drink they get drunk they do everything on the sun and you associate with them my friend if they can't go to god be converted because look look at look at naomi he go to god and ruth he go to god how naomi go to god she say that i want to be your god and where you go i want to go Come on, we got to be children of God, go to God, to, to shed light on children of darkness. Should Christian be associated with sinner? The only thing we have to, we have to do, we got to pray for them. And if they ask a question, the Bible should be ready to give an answer of the hope with life with you with gentleness and respect. But you shouldn't have no association with a sinner because they're going to spoil you. They're going to they turn backwards into the world of sin and destruction. My question is, should Christian be sinner friends? If you're not telling them about, about kingdom, you will, they're going to tell you about, let's kick it. They're going to tell you, let's go to the club and drop it and, dro and kick it like, drop it like it's hot. We as being Christian, Christian hold, have no business in a party. Drinking and smoking and doing all the sexing in the back room. If you are a Christian and you are going to the club, you are a hypocrite. You are a cold-blooded sinner. Hey, come on, come on now. You you supposed to be naming the name of Christ and you going to the club. 
You're supposed to be, you're supposed to be an usher in the in the house of God and club in. It's the Bible, Bible says, listen what the Bible says. In, in, in the first, in first uh, King 18.21, he said, How long ought you be to, to opinion? If the Lord be God, serve him. And if not, and the people answer not a word. He said, How long ought you between two opinions? If you for God or you for Satan? Yes, if you for God or you for Satan. If you for God, you're supposed to be holy. If you for Satan, you go clubbing and whoring. Come on, it's time to be real. It's time to be the real deal. You're hindering the sinner man that want to come to Christ because he's looking at you and he's saying that if you take that to be a Christian, I'm not going to be a Christian because I'm, if I want if I'm be a Christian, I'm supposed to be changed. What does a Second Corinthians five seventeen mean to you? What does John three verse three and three and five mean to you? What does those scripture mean to you? What does James four and four means to you? Shall shall a Christian have association with a sinner? Should a Christian marry a sinner? Glory to God! I'm I'm telling you, if 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 Ahab was here today, he will say no. Hey, glory to God! If Samson were here today, he will say no. If Samson was here today, if Solomon was here today, they'll say no. Because Delilah was a sinner. Hey, come, come on, hey, come on, help me. Glory to God. And Samson know that Delilah was a prostitute. And Delilah took his eyes out and called a Philistine. And they cut his hair off and bind him. Ahab, Ahab married Jezebel. She's a witch. She's a wicked woman. And he still married her. Look at Samson. Solomon. Solomon's heart was turned away because the, the women that he messed with was ungodly. And they turned his heart away from his God. What I'm saying to you, I know a lot of y'all don't like my video, but I'm telling you the truth. I rather tell you the truth to make you free than lie and be, keep you buying. You ain't got no business taking your panties off and a person's a sinner. Yes, you ain't got no business taking your boxer off and you know the girl is a sinner. You ought to be saving her. You ought to be praying for her. You ought to tell her that the wage of sin is death, but the give of God eternal life through Jesus Christ. I've been there before, my friend. And they draw the every blood out of your body. But you got to be saved. You got to be sanctified. You got to be separated from the world. You supposed to be a Christian. You ain't supposed to be a heathen. You you a heathen through the week, and on Sunday you are Christian. It don't work like that. You are lukewarm. Yes, you are lukewarm. If you decided to just to pick up God on Sunday, you are a hypocrite. You are cold blooded sinner. You ain't no saint. Saint don't party. Saint don't club. Saint don't drink. Saint don't is not a lesbian or homosexual part time. You for God or you for the devil? I've been there before, my friend. So I'm telling you, you are not to straddle the fence because you don't know when death might be knocking at your door. And guess what? You can't, you can't ignore it. Because the Bible says, appointed man wants to die, then the judgment. This, hallelujah, I've been to the point of death, my, my friend. But I got out before death get, got me. I'm telling you, get out. Get out of sin and get to the Savior. You go to church all these years and you're still a babe in Christ. All these years you're still a sinner and you call yourself a Christian. You ain't no Christian. You a carnal Christian. And if God cracked the sky, you ain't going back with him because you name those things that's in Revelation, the 21 chapter, verse 8. You're a liar. You're an you abomination. You're a witch. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You're a whoremongering. You're a coward. And you are an unbeliever. And let's just go down. And you're a dog. I'm telling you, should Christian have association with sinners? Come on. Jesus Christ preached to the sinner. Jesus Christ didn't wasn't a wine bibber or a drunker, even though they, they 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 say he was, but he was not. But can they say that about you? You are a drunk with the drunkards. You are whore with the horrors. It's time to be named not those things that people say about you. Is it true? When I look back over my life, hallelujah, I thank God. 
I got out before I, before death knocked on my door. Look at people right now. They look like they're sinners. The Bible says, beautify the meek with salvation. The way you, the reason why you, way you, you look the way you look, you, you ain't cute. Sin don't make you cute. Sin don't make you beautiful. Because the Bible says, glory to God, favor the seed, but a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. So I'm not going to praise no sinner. You, you a sinner. I'm not going to praise you. You might look like Leela Falana or Hell Berry. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on now. But if you ain't saved, I'm not going to give you no praise. But my question is, shall Christian have association with the sinner? That's my question. If you, if you are a saint, why should you marry a sinner? Ain't enough sinners, ain't enough, enough saints in the house of God for you to marry? No. Oh, excuse me. Half of them hypocrites? Oh, 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 yes, that's right. But the Bible, the Bible says, a man that find a wife, find a good thing, and have a favor with the Lord. Woman have no business find a man. Yes, I say that. Women have no business finding a man. You ought to be available, glory to God, when he say, would you marry me? But if you if you ain't been in a relationship with him for a long time, you don't say yes because you don't know who you marry. You might be marrying a monster rather than a man. You might be marrying a woman that changed her sex. Glory to God. She was a man and now she's a woman. And she was a woman, now she's a man. Be careful. So that's why the Holy Ghost is very important. You can know a transgender. Excuse me, excuse me, come on, can I see your birth certificate? And if they don't want to show you birth certificate, you rely on discernment of the spirit. Rely on the Holy Spirit to tell you if there was a man or woman, a woman or man. Let me pray for you, God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, bless this person right now. Oh God, they have association with a sinner. They plan on getting married to a sinner. Oh God. Don't let them be like Ahab. Don't let them be like Lord Samson, Samson and Solomon. Don't let them be like those people, oh God. Give them discernment. Give them to hear the word of God. Bless my brother. Bless my sister. Right now, in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. God bless. Peace.